It's that time of year again. Time to get out the Raspberry Pi and control some Christmas lights. Here we go. Hey, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And uh, a few years ago, I mean, I have some videos about how I did it before, but I've since hyper upgraded um, all of my YouTube stuff and, and everything. And I think I can make make a better video. Actually, it's going to be a series of a few videos because there's just a lot to try and, and get through in, in just one like 10 minute video. I'll try and keep these things to 10 minutes. So what I have is a while back I decided, well, I'm going to take on, you know, put my maker hat on and, and kind of build my own controller on a Raspberry Pi to take care of and control all my Christmas lights. So I decided at the time to not reuse anybody else's code. I mean, there's code out there that lets you uh, use the GPIO pins and stuff on, on the Raspberry Pi and do some different controller things and be able to do that. And I thought, you know, let's, let's, let's up the game. Let's, let's, let's do it all from scratch. Let's figure all this out, you know, by on our own. Okay. So I decided to go with, instead of, you know, using the GPIO pins, there's certain USB ports on here. So let's find something that we can program USB wise in order to, you know, get this all working and this all going. So I kind of started that and and I finished it eventually, but I had to build the board, okay, to, to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the bo my board here that I built. So, um, so this is what I ended up with. Um, this is this has power in it, so I'm probably not gonna be touching too many things. Uh, so we have uh, a Raspberry Pi here, and I've got, you know, a little, just a little USB, you know, adapter that, that, that powers it. Um, here's the audio cable. It actually runs the Raspberry Pi actually does play the music itself. So it's not separate on a different system. This is a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, B and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. So I have a little Wi-Fi adapter that I've plugged in here. And if we keep flowing, then here's this blue cable that goes down to my relay controller here. So this is, it's a relay, uh, eight channel relay by a company called Sane Smart. Um, seemed to get pretty good reviews and I've really had no problem with it. I've seen some other ones that are cheaper. Um, this one was $29, which, you know, seemed a, a little high, but um, what I've been reading of some of the other reviews of some of the cheaper ones, they really don't work that well or they stop working. Um, some of the relays are, are the identical relays. So, but some of them had some cheaper welding and stuff it looks like underneath to connect everything. This one I've had no problems. Um, so obviously I would recommend that <laughs> if you're gonna try and do this. Okay, so, so I do have um, these cables here. So what I took a, let me disconnect this so there's no live power. So I took, this is a regular extension cord. I took this extension cord and I took it and I split the end. So here it goes here and I split it. So there's a lower connection and, and an upper connection. So the upper connection, if you look on this side, it's a little bit, I think I can move my camera in here a little bit just to get a little more detail here. Um, so on this side, the cable comes in and I daisy chain and I have to get the, the power in this screw down block to all the different lines. I need to, needs to go to all of them so that I can get power to all of the relays. So um, each one of these has a line going to the center pole of the relay. And then this whole section here, there's, if I look, there's a whole section here of lines that come, let me put a piece of paper here. You'll see it better. So on the top, this is on the top. So on the bottom, we have wires that go directly in. On the top, we have the wires that come out on the other side of each relay. So when the relay is tripped on, then that wire will be receiving power. So down here, let's move my camera down so we can look at the lower block. Okay, so the second part We'll move over here to be a little better. So the second wire, so the upper wire here goes to the to the relay. The lower wire comes down here. 
and I'll just pull this off, this tape off. It's just a little protection. So it comes down here. There's this. Use my pencil pen a little bit. So this right here is you know the other side, and that's daisy chained to every other one. So if you see this little black, there's a little black wire that's in back there. I think if I put my paper back here, let's show the black wire up a little bit better. So no, it won't. Nope. Nope. Okay. There we go. So you can kind of see that a little bit better. So, so there's this black wire that's looping here, here, and here. So that's putting power to every other post. And then the power, the other side of the power coming down from the relay goes to every other post. And then what's that doing is that's reconnecting the extension cord because I have down here um, a bunch of extension cords. They're all numbered for what relay channel they're connected to. Um, so that each of them get power. And I did it in, so each side of the relay board, so each of these right here gets power from a different set. Of, so each extension cord is basically only powering each side of the relay here is only powering four of the extension cords because realistically each of those extension cords is going to be powering four to six light strands out on the house because i have light strands that go across the front of the house so so this is the other issue that once you get once you get the power to you get the power down to here well if i if i have one channel that's white, one that's red, one that's green, and one that's blue, that means I have to run Christmas lights across my house four times. So so you run them across the white, all the way across the whole entire house in white, so that when I flip the white channel on, the entire house lights up white. Then I have to be able to switch that over with another strand of lights and switch that to my green my blue and my red. So I basically have to run, it's a lot of work. I have to run Christmas lights on the house four times. So some of the other elements, like I have like little, you know, Christmas trees in the front yard and different things like that and stars and twinkle stars and, and a bell and things like that. All of those are only one. So I only have to do those once, but the main lights that go across the house, I do have to do uh, four times. So you have to be committed, right? committed to doing this and almost committed in general to get this done. So um, now that that's there, I mean, we have all of these, all of these different, different pieces all set. Um, I can show you right here. We're just going to do this. The Raspberry Pi is on and it's running. And now we're going to bring up, I'm actually remoted into it. So remote it into it here so now i'm going to turn and i'm going to run one hopefully you'll be able to hear this i'll turn the volume up a little bit i'm going to run one the beginning of a sequence i'm, I'm trying to do this it's uh carol the bells by trans siberian orchestra which is probably the longest one that i've ever had to sequence we'll do a sequencing video later because i tried to do that in a, another video run and it's it just there's too much, right? There's too much technical stuff. But this is just to get the 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 board and to see how it works and get the layout because um, there'll be that section and then I'll do a sequencing section. Then we have to do a code section on the Raspberry Pi to kind of bring it all together. So, but I'm going to run this and you, what you'll see is the little blue lights inside the uh, relay start clicking and you'll hear the music and you'll see the clicking and, the, and it'll all you know, go in sequence and you can see that it's actually running and, and sequencing at the same time. Okay, so let's get that going. Okay, system start. Okay, here we go. So you can kind of hear that. And the next light comes on when the it starts. So then it goes up. Then the next set of lights. 
so that those lights slow down because the music is slowing down, and then boom, they all go on, and then they start dripping off, and then we have the, the bells here in a second, so you see that one going, so that's going to be my bells and, and stuff that are going, so I don't have much more of that sequence that, that's been like uh, about two hours. <laughs> worth of sequencing to get just to get to that point so when I go to 16 channels that's just gonna make it like forever but anyway so that, that's the beginning of it that's that's how it starts and that's kind of what what it does I take this uh, board and I have these screw holes here uh, and I mount this on some screws in the garage and then all the cables go out the underneath the garage door and out and all across the house I do end up buying probably 40 or 50 of these little extension cords because you have to run the extension cord. You can't just keep daisy chaining your lights over and over again. I can't have, I can't go from, you know, a blue light strand and then plug a white light strand into it because then that would come on at the same time. You have to have one of these connectors that you're going to call blue and go plug only the blue lights into that. And then you have to have one that you call, you know, like Christmas trees or uh, bells or stars or whatever and just only plug those elements into that so it ends and those stars may be on completely opposite ends of the house so you have to be able to run one set of cables one way one another set of cables the other way so it, it gets to be a lot of extension cords so just know that if you're going to try and do this but the effect in the end I mean it is is really cool and, and amazing and once I get it all up and rebuilt and and back on the house we're gonna we'll have a light show uh, video where I show how it all works okay so that's the beginning of it um, I'm I'm really pumped this year I rewrote my algorithm um, about how timing works and the timing of when it hits like when you saw those bells hitting and stuff and those that relay clicking right as soon as the bells were hitting on um, I really kind of got it so it's so much better this year um the timing and, and and everything it's gotten me pretty excited about it so um now that now that now that my uh spine fusion surgery is out of the way and and all that and i'm back up to being able to kind of do things again um i, I made it a goal to be able to go put these lights up and really push at getting this i had two song sequence and i've done one more and i'm doing this other uh, huge one. So hopefully that'll be pretty good when I get it, once I get it going. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching this. If you have any, you know, interested in anything about what I just showed of the board uh, and anything else, um, I'd be glad to answer those questions. Like I said, I have a generic kind of diagram somewhere that I'm going to uh, attach to this video. That's kind of a wiring diagram for how this is all set up and wired. Um, or if you want to, you know, improve on this and, and do you have another idea about how to do it, you know, feel free to to share that with with everybody um, out there. I usually these videos about uh, this time about Christmas lights and stuff tend to get get a lot of views because people are really interested in doing this. And I love doing this. This is this is this is fun to have software. See, this is the thing to have software that you write, be able to affect something in hardware right that's really cool to be able to you know to do things and to be able to send send a couple of numbers to a relay and then have your whole house light up and then have music play and have your house you know you know blink and and synchronize to that music it's just it's just fun it's just fun all right well like this video uh subscribe to my channel if you want to keep getting these uh videos you want to learn about uh the sequencing that I do and how I make the sequencing files and how I the code that I wrote uh, to make it all work and to make it all happen and loading that onto Raspberry Pi. All those other pieces are coming, uh, but this one's already 14 minutes. So we'll wrap this one up. This will be part one. I don't know if it's going to be part one of three or part one of maybe part one of four. Um, so I'll keep renumbering them as I as I get more and more out there. But you can tell I'm excited. So. This is going to be fun. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.